Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt with Tears of Gaia. So we're back at the Peller's Hut. Uh, we have the Botchling's blood. And what we need him to do now is perform some sort of ritual. So that the blood will tell us where the mother and maybe sister of the child are. So you can see I failed to perform what was needed to turn the Botchling into a Lubberkin. That's why I'm here. The Peller is just chilling on his bed. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Got the botchling's blood. Know what to do? How to find Anna and Tamara? Of course he does. Blood. 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 The Pella knows, knows the ritual, ritual to summon the spirits. The Pella will take the blood. Can I help? Bring any other ingredients? Hmm. Henbane? Yes. Jimson weed? I. And lungwort. Ah, here's the lungwort. Milk. Why, princess shall provide. And a Pella's always got hen's feet, but... But... Oh, eau de vie. Fear that's all gone. Ah, there's some hooch left. Do just fine. So that's everything. And how's it gonna work, dear Pella? So how will this ritual work? A decoction the Pella shall brew, and when midnight tolls, off we go to the sacred ground in the woods. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need black candles. <laughs> Step onto the paths of blood a night, standing upon bare ground facing the old gods. It is not unlike Forefather's Eve. All right, what then? The Pella shall summon the spiritling, the babe's ghost, and it shall be our guide. And then, then you shall see something few these days witness. All right, let's do this. All right. Let's see if these old rituals hold any sway in these foul times. You wish to go right away? No time to lose, yeah. Yeah, don't see any sense in waiting. So shall it be. The white wolf must follow the pillar. The pillar will show the way. We got a long way to go. Nah, it's not far. Through the village, then the wood, and there we will be. I would love to regenerate some health, though. All this the Baron's land? It is now. T'were not before. So who did it belong to? To the Lord. Serrat, they called him. An evil man he were. Vile. Cared not a lick for common folk. You all get together and drive him away? When the Black Ones came, the Lord to the tower on Fike Isle fled. The invaders set the fields afire, and a great hunger descended on us all. While the Lord in abundance wallowed, there in the Tower of Mice. But the old gods, in their ire, upon him visited a punishment. A plague of rodents swarmed the isle. At first, they ate all from the feast tables. Then, the Lord and all his court, they devoured. Local gods just aren't known to be tolerant. <laughs> Freaking wolves! Damn it, you! I'm gonna take your dog, Tello. That's for sure, and your liver. Raw meat. Elf guardians hate you pretty hard. Folk are poor here. It's rare the mighty concern themselves with the poor, but the invaders will be punished. I'm sorry, Peller. I wanna listen to you so bad, but. In the meantime, I also need to regenerate some health. The chance they've already been. How's that? The pestilence grips their camp and will devour them all, as the mice devoured the Lord's court. So it really was mice that ate the Lord? No. Come on, I've been to Fike Isle. 
And there was ghouls and nearly there. Drowners. Nearly there. What is this place? Shh. The Wolf and Glide. Nice name. White Wolf should feel right at home. The White Wolf. All right, good balance. For terrible things happened here of yore. To this day, none dare mention the name aloud. That's a bit unsettling, here, though. The place. What now? Light the fires. Why do we need fires? The fires. Why do we need them? To keep malicious forces at bay. You must watch they do not go out, or else it shall come. What'll come? Evil. I don't like evil. What about you? What'll you do? The Pella must clear the stone, then draw the signs. Then, to the gods shall the Pella pray that no evil may take us. Well then, let's get going. All right, no reason to dawdle. Prepare and prepare well. Once the spirits appear, there'll be no recourse, no turning back. Nothing like a little encouragement. Light the fires. The Pella will treat that as his sign to begin. Prepare for the ritual. Um, okay. So, if it tells me to prepare for the ritual... I'm gonna coat my blade. Or maybe... Regenerate some more health. And I think I'm set to go. Yeah. Cast Quen. And then... Light some fires. Come on. Ready. The fires. Watch them. Let nothing break the circle. Oh, come on. By the powers of earth and sky, by the world that was to be your home, I, who have tasted your blood, summon you to guide me. Come, blood unborn. Come, blood spurned. Come, blood never named. Hear me upon the paths. Lead me along the trail of those bound to you by blood. Damn it. Supposed to keep the fires lit. What makes you think? I wanted to cast him. This time. Whoa! Finally, it is your blood. Show me the blood that is lost. The blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mum. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. 
thorny boughs snag her, stop her. I am a drop on a web. Will Wojtek wait? Dark blood carries the question downriver. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? Now is the time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. The world shall perish amidst ice and be reborn of Elder Blood, of a planted seed. What can you possibly offer? You all right? <coughs> yes. Is it over? It's done. The Pell has seen what he was meant to say. What was the... He spoke of a name during the third vision. And then he was talking about the Elder Blood, and what, what does this have to do with any of it? We're here for the botchling. And for, for Anna Stranger and Tamara Stranger, and not for... The White Hunt. What did you see first? The Pella saw the Baron and Mrs. Anna. They quarreled. He did not wish for her to leave. He shook her, but the Pella sensed no anger in him. He wounded her, and in the blood, the Pella sensed love. A love sad and tormented. And the second vision? Didn't fully understand what the second vision was about. Anna miscarried. Blood everywhere. Suffering, the Pella felt it on her. She died her daughter's death. And the third? Third vision seems most important. Mm, they were walking through the woods, both weak, but for different reasons. Yet both knew where they were going. Not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Wojtek. Hope filled both their hearts at the thought of him. Hmm. And the prophecy at the end? If Lean's words, you quoted them, and then asked me a question. Forgive the Pella. He knows not what you mean. Spirits. The spirits speak through the ritual, not he. Wojtek. What about that guy? This Wojtek from your vision. Know him? Wojtek, Wojtek. Two Wojteks have we nearabouts. In Black Bow lives one. In his hut, there he stays, has for years. Gophers, with gophers he lives, they say. And he could remember a time when in these lands dwelled only elves. And the other? Somehow I doubt they went to a century-old rodent lover for help. A fisherman. A family he has lives in a secluded hut near the river's mouth. I'll walk you home, Peller. You don't look like you can get home on your own. I'll walk you. Thank you. No, thank you for your help. Let's go. The Peller is an interesting character, though. So, we got some experience points, and yeah, my toxicity is still pretty high, even though there are no effects of the potions going on anymore. <laughs> That's like the worst. So, maybe you wondered, why wasn't he fighting the wraiths? Well, I tried like four times before, every time I tried to fight the wraiths, I ended up dying sometimes without even being hit and I didn't know why so apparently if all the fires go up for dude yeah I could see piss coming out there <laughs> that's too much detail for my taste anyhow um I I tended to die for no reason at all so it seems like if all the fires go out you can fight as many raves as you want to you're gonna die and what am I actually doing I have to go to Black Bow. Oh, it's actually not that far away. But still, Roach is gonna help me get there. More swiftly. Come on, Roach. You know what? I haven't. 
What's going on, Roach? This was just a stone. Are you scared of stones? That was so intense. Why is everything so intense at the moment? There's this fighting the botchling with all the reefs and stuff. And then and then the Peller performs this ritual and we have to fight some more raves. Everything about this everything about this botchling and finding Anna and, and Tamara is so goddamn creepy. I don't like it. Oh, there's a monster nest. Ghouls, they say. Huh. How about some necrophage oil? Oh, no, 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 no. There's the frozen ghoul. Come at me, boys! Not like this. Oh, you don't like being frozen? Maybe this will warm you up. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I chopped his head off. Should have renewed Quen before doing that, though. Oh. Jump over there. What? Where's the loot? Monster tongue. I can't loot these people, but I can loot this one. He has some coal, some ash. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. I will any minute. Ashes, okay. Let's destroy it then. And then we can loot it. Ghoul's blood. Al Ghoul bone marrow. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. On our way, we destroy the ghoul's nest. Hey, Roach. I've just been waiting up there. That's good. That's really good. Then, wait a minute. Because I, I, I switched up my build for fighting the wraiths. No, not for fighting the wraiths. Because, oh, because this makes more sense. I want wanted to have plus 20 sign intensity. Now I have plus 28. Um... That's why I switched out this poison blades thing. Because now I have the hanged man's venom and I think... Coating my blade in it will poison people enough. I hope so. I'm talking about humans. Slow now, whoa. Whoa, that's his hut. Let's save. Slow now. No, no. You don't have to be too slow. Whoa. whoa, Roach, whoa. What's going on with you? Okay, so there's a wolf or something down there. It's clearing up. What are you talking about? It's clearing up. It's night time. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. They call you Voitek. I, I... They do, kind sir. But I's not done a thing. Swear it on the lives of my young'uns. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. 
Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quite oh, boy. Stupid child. <laughs> I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. And then what happened to her? Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Only you, you're a noble person. What happened to Tamara's mother? were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. What? Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Like this? Why did you help them? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I'd a debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara lured it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We need to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Yeah. Very wise. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried Whoa. her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, which were the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Oh, hard decision. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be alright in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. You never know. So, Tamara is in Oxenford. And we don't know where Anna is. And I want to loot this guy's place. <laughs> Those are good people. But still. They have some interesting loot in their house. And if they don't even mind me... 
God damn it, boy. Ooh, there's a book. It's been a long time since we've read a book. And I'm not sure if I want to change it yet. Wow. Okay, this is the perfect setting for ending the episode. Next time we're gonna go and talk to the Baron about his family. Maybe even travel to Oxenford to find Tamara. But, as always, we're gonna end the episode with a stunning view over the lake with the birds, the sun... What is it? Sun setting, I think. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. You really made my day. And if you liked it, make sure to drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe for more. That would be awesome. And I hope to see you next time.